I just heard my name on the radio. But I missed it by that much. <sighs> okay, y'all. Let me tell you about the time I heard my name on the radio. At this time, I was in uh, taking classes for medical coding and billing because I was trying to find work where I can work from home. I have like some disabilities and it's hard for me to sit up for long periods of time, even though I'm sitting up for you guys right now. So yeah, so I was taking those classes and um, money was kind of tight. My mom had just passed. I was on unemployment and so therefore some bills were not getting paid. So there was a local radio station. This is when I lived back in LA. There was a local radio station paying bills and they were paying like people's payday loans and student loans and things like that. So I was like, oh shoot, I'll just give it a try. So I sent my bills in, not thinking they were really going to call me, but I was like, hey, why not? And I did say um, in the letter, could you please call me at three because school doesn't usually let out till like three o'clock. So a couple days go by, I'm in class and all of a sudden we leave school at 12 o'clock. So I was like, okay, let me run some errands because my rent was late, just happened to get the money. So I go to the post office to get a post a money order, postal money order. I'm going to learn how to talk one of these days. Y'all see, I'll get better. So what had happened, yeah, so while I was in the post office, there was this lady, she was new and she was training and me trying to be the Christian patient so as I was trying to say, because as you know, the camera cut off again. So because I knew the lady was new and also I'm trying to be patient because that's the Christian thing to do. I'm waiting for her to go through the transaction. She was having some trouble. You know, I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, OK, we're just going to be patient. Let this lady figure out how to make a money order for me so I can go and pay my rent. So the transaction finally gets done. I leave, I get in my car, and I hear, Donnie, you just missed your opportunity for us to pay your bills. I scream so loud, I'm surprised people didn't come running. So I'm trying to call, I'm driving, not that you're supposed to drive and talk on the phone, but I'm also trying to get my rent paid. But I'm calling the radio station, asking them, you know, I just heard my name. You said I just missed my opportunity. Is there anything we can do? Because, you know, I was, plus I asked you guys to call me at three and it's 12-ish. And the operator basically told me, there's not much that can be done. Rules are rules. Even people who have gone to funerals aren't able to get, win a contest because they didn't call within a certain time. Then the operator tried to pacify me by saying, oh, we can give you the uh, product manager, product production manager's number and leave a message and see if he'll do anything. Well, you know that fell on deaf ears. So I pay my rent. I tell him at the office what happened. And then I leave because um, where I paid my rent was actually 20 minutes away from where I actually live. So I go home. Don't think about it. And um, the next morning, I get dressed, eat, grab my keys, go to the parking stall. And guess what? You already know. The car had been repossessed. And those were, that was one of the bills that I wanted them to pay. I'm like, dang, I missed it by that much. So all I know for future reference, if I ever submit to a radio station again i'm gonna make sure to get a trans old time transistor radio and listen to the radio all day long with earbuds in but you know what i remember i remember cell phones once upon a time would let you tap into the radio stations they need to bring that back because for things like this it's not cool i'm just saying i'm still heard about it it was it was a few years ago but i'm still heard about it but um, you guys leave a comment. Let me know if anything crazy like this has ever happened to you. Anyway, this is Donnie to the Max. Thank you for watching. Pre please like, subscribe, and share, and hit that notification bell. Thank you. I forgot one more thing. 
Remember in the last video I said I needed a, a selfie stick for old cameras? Well, of course, YouTube has a lot of great content. So I was able to make this video with the cardboard from the um, paper towel roll. And I got that idea from, what is this YouTuber's name? Well, that's not his name. Anyway, the link will be in in, uh, in the description below. Sorry. I got the idea from a YouTuber by the name of Seth Bikes Hacks, and the link will be in the description. I made this by a paper towel roll. He's a genius. I don't know. I'm hey, for somebody with no money. This works out for me. Anyway. You guys have a great one. Thank you. Bye.